Good news for lazy <laughs> joggers. That makes no Good sense. News, everyone. Scientists develop ankle exoskeleton that makes running 14% easier than in normal sports shoes. So apparently, huh. Nike shoes funded this uh, this research, and they developed some kind of exo Iron Man type. What? Look at this. I, it begins. It's it begins. This is the the start. So here's 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 the thing. Oh, this here's is the cool. Thing. What, here's the thing. I want to run faster. I know, right? Let me tell you the thing. Here's the thing. There's a the thing. Another beanie idea. Yes. What makes <laughs> Iron Man Tony Stark a superhero is that he, as one person, developed all of these things very very quickly. Right. We in real life in a cave. In a, well, no, no, no. He made a weird bonkers <laughs> no, the suit. First, the first Iron Man, I know. Right, he did, but he, he had like a crappy suit. He went yeah. home, and he was like, whoa. I, and he, yeah, yeah. So what do we have right now? We got a guy who can fly. Yeah. And now we got a guy who can run. Ooh. We got to bring these things together. Mm-hmm. And then we're going to have the real suit. But let's let's be honest. Like, if you wore an Iron Man suit, and, and someone hit you with, like, a mortar shell, you're going to die. Like, <laughs> I don't know what his suit's made of. Like, man, I know. Because there's, there's that scene in the first one where he's flying and the tank fires the, the artillery shell. In and every boom. Iron Man, he gets shot against the wall and it's just like, boom, I'm okay. He's fine, right. yeah, I'm he's okay. Fine. It's like, uh-huh. well, what about your brain? Your, your brain is your still inside s- sitting in yeah. fluid. And if it hits the, the back, you're going to get a concussion. Like, I just assume that <laughs> Iron Man has some kind of maglev like force field that absorbs force dampening adamantium oh, oh inertial dampeners yeah like right. in star trek yeah the inertial dampener so check this out how the ankle exoskeleton works now it's just the ankle so the story is a is kind of a letdown but it's still pretty cool we can run better i actually bought these things i got they, they were advertised to me on instagram okay they're these spring-loaded knee braces Oh man, I've yeah. seen those. They don't work. <laughs> I, I heard that they didn't work because it's it creates a weird obstruction in your knee when you bend them. Yeah, and it just feels weird. It actually <laughs> does. It feels worse. But the the idea is interesting. So there are these things that you strap them onto your knees, and in the back there's a spring, and it's like plastic. And then when it bends, it resists. All I can think is that you're an Instagram sucker. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I buy so much stuff off Instagram to give no idea. They that cool thing. Ads, dude. What? Look at that UFO. The UFO thing is from Instagram? Yeah, yeah here. Oh, no, no, no. Switch to us. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, sorry, that's what I was trying to do. That UFO the I saw UFO. on Instagram. It took a long time yeah. to get here, too. Yeah, it it's pretty cool. We forgot about it. And then it, it turned up, cool. and we were like, oh, my goodness. It's a lamp? I, I got to be honest, though. I, I like the glow better. Oh, okay. No, I like the UFO better. Hey, we, so you know what? We should We should have a vote. Nah. Look at it. It's spinning. Obviously, there's two against one, but I'm talking about. You guys out we there, what do give, you think? We should the give, globe or the UFO? We should give Shout the out in the comments. Boys fair Hit, at, time. At me, at me in the comments if you uh, want the globe. And then the at, UFO, at look at that thing. If you, uh, look at that. if you like the UFO. That is cool. It's floating eh, yeah, and spinning. Yeah, that's cool. It can play music. It, yeah, I read it's a speaker. And, and it's charging while it's floating. That's awesome. That's a lot I'm, of it's, I'm not it's, saying it's it. not cool. Anyway, back to the, to the anyway. exoskeletons. <laughs> So let's see, they say couch potatoes trying to get in shape could one day be helped along their fitness journey by an ankle exoskeleton that makes it easier and less tiring to run. Okay, I'm going to stop you right there. If you don't like running, don't do it. It's not going to make you run. Well, listen, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. You've got to develop good habits. No one's going to run with these if they don't like running. If you right. don't like running, you're not going to run you ever. Know, you, you know what yeah. I like? Skateboarding. Hmm. I, I so, actually do like running because there is a point where you kind of get the endorphins running and you, yeah. you go into like this spacey cloud space and it's it's actually pretty I like, great. I like free running. But I do like skating over, over running. Well, so, so, so I'm here's gonna the always, thing. I'm going to always go skate instead. Doing something you don't want to do is very difficult. Okay. It's not and work. you need community support to get into something. So like if yeah, you're somebody true. who wants, if you're a, cra- a lazy couch potato and you want to get into running, find some people to run with. And, and, and hang out with them, and you need to build that community. For me, I, skateboarding is a very solitary thing. I skate because I want to. Yeah. Some people skate because they want to be with their friends. But when I go out, I'm not like, it's time to exercise. We're going to go skate. No, it's like, I want to skate. I just so happen to be getting exercise. So what, 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 what are the real benefits of this exoskeleton? I don't know. Military capabilities? Yeah. Nah. You don't think potential. so? I don't think so. Why not? 14% because, energy because reduction? Because the military is going to use robots. They're not leaning to make humans go out there with like super suits to run faster. This is just someone who, you know, is coming up with something that's, you know, it is kind of cool. But what's the application to this? It's not going to be the military. The military wants robots. They don't want to lose humans. That's why they're studying gamers' brains. They're studying people who 
control like starcraft kind of like you know the sending masses and and understanding the flow of battle to do robots not also superhumans i'm that's, actually that's not happening i'm actually a bit bummed apparently these tethers are like mounted to motors that go into your s suit yeah sure this is you know this is the start right so I'm, maybe they'll wear a backpack at some point but the other thing is what they're arguing like they're saying you know, eventually a version will be created to help runners on a treadmill save an average of 24% more energy. I thought the goal of For running... what? I thought the goal of running on a treadmill was to burn energy. Yeah, exactly. What What is the point of this? What I, is... This feels like wasted research. No, no. I think so. Like, nah, what's nah, the nah. point of this? What if is, we what's can, the reason? If we can... <laughs> if we can make simple exosuits to increase... There was one guy. He's got one. It's a hydraulic suit. Okay. And he was able to lift ridiculously heavy things with it. Hmm, interesting. So, so, so uh, that, and that can, makes sense to me. Yeah. So, like, that if, has some applications it's, outside just simply running. It's like hydraulic bars with like a hook at the end, and okay. he would like hook it around stuff and then lift like, you know, 100, 200 pound weights. Dope. Right. Well, this makes, makes it so you can run, you can save energy when you run. Where, who, where are you running? What, may, maybe you got a job and you got to run. Maybe you're, uh, right. oh, yeah. Maybe what, you're, what, what job? What's, who's, who's, who's the guy who ran the marathon? The, you know oh, they're about? gonna allow this in a marathon? No. Yeah, exactly. No, remember, remember that guy. What? He, what, what, the, the, what's the origin of the marathon? Who did it? I have no idea. I don't know. The first I guy who ever run a marathon? marathon? I don't know. The, the marathon originated because some dude had to run 26 miles or something in like ancient Rome. Oh. And then he like uh. ran as fast as he could to deliver this message. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, that's right. They had like yeah. a uh, uh, one of the gods had the wings on his feet. Was that him? Who that's ran, Mercury. Ran, yeah, I, I want to say so. Hermes. Yeah. Hermes. Mercury. I don't know. Different names. Yeah. But this, that's that's like the story of the marathon, or whatever. No idea. Let's say, like, but let's look. There are people who have to run in certain environments. Why? The, right, right now we don't have Boston Dynamics style robots to go and fight. Yeah, you know what? The people who are in civilizations that need to run are super fit their muscles are used to running and they're they're like they were like oh yeah run in the store like it would take more time for me to be strapped up in this stuff to then go there i could just run and get there and, and get the thing and come back before you're even you're like halfway there even though you run faster you still gotta i don't know just like say it's it's what are we talking about this is this is like iron man stuff it's like level level one we're just getting started baby i know i i, I agree i just what if i want to see you ever like, see some real applications no you ever see mario brothers the movie yeah remember when they put those things on their legs and make them jump really high yeah that wouldn't work but what if it could so, i mean it's the same thing we talked about earlier you fly up real high and you fall and die <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> it's like we're well, so but here's the idea though <laughs> that's supposed the, to be the idea is that you have these things on your legs okay. that have stored energy in like a spring or some kind of, you know, I don't know, piston. I have no idea. Sure. And right when you jump, it releases at the same time, giving you an extended jump. When you land, it t absorbs it, the energy it, it and compresses it. it back down and clicks in. Sure. Okay. But if you mess up. If you mess up. You'll be flipping and going like, ah, boof, and you or die. Or hitting somebody, running into something. But hey, man, look. That's a mess. I've seen, I've seen football players just running yeah. and then they tear their ACL. But I've also seen the stupidity of humans very prevalent as of late indeed and people will have access to this kind of thing and they'll be like bouncing around <laughs> yeah, do you know i, I don't want to see that i do you just, know the story of spring heeled no jack thanks what is it spring heeled jack spring heeled jack no i don't I'm yeah nervous. spring heeled jack is an oh entity God. in english folklore of the victorian era <laughs> the first claimed sighting of spring heeled jack was in 1837 there are many theories about the nature of an identity of spring heeled jack the urban legend was very popular in its time Due to the tales of his bizarre appearance and ability to make extraordinary leaps to the point that he became the topic of several works of fiction. spring Hill Jack was described by people who claimed to have seen him as having a terrifying and frightful appearance with diabolical physio physiognomy, clawed hands, and eyes that resembled red balls of fire. One report <laughs> claimed that beneath a black cloak, he wore a helmet and a tight-fitting white garment like an oil skin. Many stories also mentioned a devil-like aspect. Others said he was tall and thin, with the appearance of a gentleman. Several reports mentioned that he could breathe out blue and white flames. Okay, this is just getting absurd. Yeah, wasn't uh, opium really heavy and prevalent <laughs> back then? I see it. I <laughs> so, see it. So people like, are on crazy uh, drugs. Yeah. Pretty sure people are drinking no, look, absinthe. They, they, and... Look, ma mass hysteria. Yeah. They put it right yeah, there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, my general understanding of why they call him Spring Heeled Jack was that the assumption was he had some kind of things in his boots and he could jump really high. Yeah. And there were stories that like 
they, he would be being chased and then he would just jump on top of a building. Have you ever seen, uh, what's that movie? Uh, Br- Brothers Grimm, I think it is. No. I think it's Heath Ledger and Matt Damon. Yeah. And they, they just like, they're the Grimm brothers who like yeah. kill the demons or whatever. And it's, it's all a hoax. They got like springboards set up to like oh, yeah, convince yeah. the people that they're oh, doing yeah, these yeah, yeah. amazing things, but it's all just like smoke yeah. and mirrors. It's like that's mm. the that's the that's the reality of ninjas. Do you know that? Is it? So uh, I didn't know that. That's cool. I'm not a, I'm not a ninja expert, hmm. but I have read I'm, I'm one or two Reddit articles when they popped up, <laughs> and I was reading how they would try to create the perception of uh, of having magic powers. Okay. To so people would avoid fighting them. So one of the things they would do is. Before, like, they're, they're assassins, right? Yeah. They wouldn't dress in all black. That's that's like that's from like theater. They would wear regular clothes of regular people so yeah. they could blend in. Makes sense. But let's say there was like a building, and they had to assassinate somebody. Okay. They would prepare for the escape. So in the pond, in in the lake next to it, they would put wooden, uh, like wooden beams, and then after they assassinated their target and were fleeing and being chased, you run they, across the lake. They would run across across the lake, and people would stop and be like. <gasps> demons yeah when they were really just jumping from log to log yeah yeah so it was all about trickery and deception well not all, not always but that's one of the things they would do you create you know so maybe this spring hill jack guy was just some some dude mm-hmm. who preset maybe it was a board in the ground of the spring yeah and he would run and hit it and they would bounce him in the air and they'd be like how did he do that not like, realizing oh he's right. spring healed yeah but I, I dig, I dig the old urban legend. Yeah, he's like jumping around and look at the. He's like, what is, what is he's this? He's like the original Batman. He's the, right, yeah, for real. Look at this guy. That's so looks very like. cool. He looks kind of flamboyant. I love yeah. it. It's his tight white pants. It's, it is. It's literally <laughs> totally the is. Batman and the Joker together. Oh, look at his oh, smile. Yeah, it kind of oh, does. Look at his cool. face. I like that. You know how I got these scars? Yeah. My boots. <laughs> I, I jumped really high and fell down onto a fence post. <laughs> 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 right, my right in his mouth. Oh gosh. Well, anyway, I don't know. Do you have any final thoughts on the uh, the coming? Uh, oh, that's the wrong story. Do you have any final thoughts on the coming? I don't know. All I can think is exoskeleton. The, the beanies are coming soon. There we go. <laughs> I just I'm so don't, stoked. Don't don't buy spring heels. Don't buy exoskeleton suits. Buy beanies. Buy beanies. Prepare for, beanies for all. The for beanies. Full collection. Beanies for some. Have you wanted to become a beanie bro? Well, soon you'll have, have your chance. You need to ask the question. All right, all right. Tim Cast <laughs> IRL beanies coming to you soon. All right. Soon, yes. Yes, yes. And these are going to be like made in America. Yes. Made in America. Hand packaged by, by Triggler himself. Yeah. I'm Boom. doing this. Soy Jesus magic. I'll Soy even, Jesus. I'll even sign them for you. A little love. Yeah, maybe. No, we should put now. like little cards in too and stuff like that. And That'd like, yeah, so make fun. it a little package. Some commons. <gasps> You don't know. You know we should do. No, we should make. Uh, uh, we should make <laughs> like gag magic cards. Okay. I and mean, the beanies oh, can come yeah. with magic cards. Oh my Ooh, gosh, that's yes. a great idea. Fun, like I'm silly. Of a game. Like you, me. Oh right. Maybe we should uh, make cancel culture cards. Uh, well, I mean, I guess we can kind of let people know we're working on it. But... Everybody knows we're working on it. Oh, they do. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah, I've talked, talked about, about it a lot. Yeah, we yeah. talked oh, about it on the show. Gosh. Oh, sure. All the time. Okay. We're okay. working on a card game. It's called Cancel Culture. Yep, we're working oh. on a game. And the the goal of the it's a card game. It's it's going to be simplified. We're 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 trying to work out ways to stop it from becoming a rich person's game. Like a lot of games, even Pokemon Magic, cards become ridiculously expensive. We're getting rid of all that. We want a game where you can pop up in the box and you can play with your friends. And it's really funny because the, the goal of the game is that you are trying to cancel your opponent. Yep. Cancel so culture, it's, baby. So it's, it's, gonna, it's, it's basically just a bunch of pop culture references. And it's the, the gag is, you know, you'll, you'll have a character who's like Peter Jordanson fighting against, you know... Ro Jogan. Ro Jogan or Wet Brinstein. I mean, these are really, really <laughs> poorly thought out gag names, yes. but we're working on like making a very silly parody. Everyone will get torn apart. No one is safe. I will say. Toilet Girl is a thing. Toilet Girl oh, will be. Yeah, will, and, sure. and, and that's the, the goal for the expansions mm-hmm. is to actually just make like the like when when stories come out, and there's viral moments. We'll make we'll make cards for these things. Yeah. And uh, but, you know, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'll, I'll put I want to say one thing about it. We're going to make fun of everybody. Oh, yeah. We're going to make fun of me. We're going to make fun of feminists. Everyone will get torn apart. No one will be spared. But of course, I guarantee you, one side of this is going to laugh at all of the mockery. And the other side is going to say it's bigotry and it's sexist and it's, you know, all the awful things. It's all right or whatever. Whatever. We're channeling our inner George Carlin. I also Mm -hmm. want to design a chess set. A culture war chess set. Okay. Where the pawns on one side are a bunch of like fat neckbeards with katanas and like fedoras and dusters. 
And then the pawns on the other side are big, fat Mohawk feminists. And like, just make like a chessboard for the culture war would be funny. I'll leave but, that to you. But we are working on a card game. It's going to be really fun. Yeah. To simplify what we're trying to do is it's just going to be pop culture. So it'll be really funny to have Kathy Griffin, you know, trying to get Joe Rogan banned from the internet and you're going at it. And like, you know, things like that. Just silliness, parody, making fun of people, making fun of this whole this whole culture war stuff. Yep. We're working on it now. It's coming. Oh, so, yeah. uh, well, we'll see how long it takes. You know, we, 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 we do a lot of things, but maybe maybe soon. Thanks for checking out this clip from the TimCast IRL podcast. We do the show live Monday through Friday at 8 p.m. If you want to catch the full show, tune into this channel, subscribe, hit the like button, or check us out on iTunes and Spotify, and we will soon have this podcast up for free on all podcast platforms. Thanks for hanging out, and we'll see you all in the next episode.